Amazing Spider-Man. Look at the adjective! It was amazing. As usual, Nick Spencer knocks out the park. No mention to the previous story, but mention to the next story, which is going to be absolute carnage. Good to see a timeline on when this story happened. This whole story in this issue was all about Peter, making me feel for the character, all the BS that he goes through. There was a moment early on when Aunt May kind of comforts him and puts her hands on him, and I thought, hey, she gave him a ring, but it, it went on to the next panel. We find out at the end of the comic that he, she did give him a ring. Yeah, and it's real emotional. The way that he can't just uh, propose to MJ as planned, as scheduled, and he has no idea what this Mephisto stuff is. There was even a, a little thing in the uh, comic that said maybe some other day. Sounds like one more day or... Yeah, that was the name of that story, right? So what happened? Did Quesada change his mind? Are they going to go a different direction with Spider-Man? Sorry, not different direction, but the proper direction. I don't think they should have ever divorced him from Mary Jane. How is divorced even the correct term, right? It's so weird, comic books and their stories. But I feel like... He's living with her, right? Don't you always see him sleeping next to her in bed? And just you're, you're already married, basically. Make it official and keep it official. Because, well, you know what you can't do, though? You can't give him a daughter. That would be like taking away from one more day. And I'm not for retconning. Even the stupid decisions. Hey, they happened. Let's keep it like that. But I believe as terms to Spider-Man making people forget about his identity... His daughter will never come into fruition. In Earth 616, it will never see it happen. Um, with Spider-Man keeping his identity, there's always something to nitpick. He's having a full-on conversation with Mary Jane about his Spider-Man doom. Like, phones have recording recorders right there. You gotta take your privacy more serious. I, I call myself Chillmonger on the internet. That's like, I take my privacy pretty seriously. At least more than a, a superhero should be. Because my name is not actually Chillmonger. It's M. Jadaka. It's from my actual real name is Amjadaka, yeah. So, that's the way I feel about that. But like everything else in the comic was spick and span. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching my reviews. Go watch my Ironheart review because I didn't like that one. Go watch my Captain Marvel review because I did like that one. And I know you already watched my Powers of X review. Oh, I put the poster down to put up this guy.